Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sean back with another skincare review for you. Thank you for joining me. It's wonderful to see all of my returning viewers. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Great to see you. It pays to keep up with the latest beauty trends and listen to honest reviews from creators like myself who are not sponsored. Today I'm going to discuss the results from my 21 day challenge using only one particular brand from South Korea. And in the opinion of many consumers along with myself, it's one of the very best. Yes, it's none other than Beauty of Joseon, founded in the early 2010s by Jin Yeon Park. The name of this line originated from the Joseon dynasty of Korea, spanning from 1392 to 1910. At the time of this recording in January of 2024, Beauty of Joseon has accumulated over $200 million US in sales, and it will continue to grow in the years to come. What I'm going to feature are a few of the products that they offer. And let me say right off the cuff that after 21 days of consistent application, both day and night, the quality of these far exceed that of many American brands. Throughout my challenge, I used the following seven Beauty of Joseon products. The Green Plum Refreshing Toner, the Calming Serum with Green Tea and Panthenol, the Dynasty Cream, the Relief Sun SPF with Rice and Probiotics, the Revive Eye Serum with Ginseng and Retinol, the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser, and the Ginseng Cleansing Oil. Here's a brief description of each particular product. The Green Plum Refreshing Toner is a gentle chemical-based liquid formula enriched with 25% green plum water, 2% glycolic acid, and 2% mung bean extract. It helps to soothe dry skin, tighten pores, and eliminate dead skin cells with added rice bran water and honey extract. The calming serum is enriched with 50% green tea leaf water, 30% mugwort extract, and 5% panthenol to relieve dry and sensitive skin. It has anti-aging, moisturizing, and brightening effects to bring out the best in one's skin. The Dynasty Cream is perhaps this brand's best-selling product. It is enriched with ginseng and orchard extract to improve wrinkles for a more youthful look. I love how it comes with a spoon to extract the cream from the glass container in order to avoid contamination. The Relief Sun SPF has a UV ray protection level of 50 and is a chemical-based cream filled with niacinamide to moisturize skin. Additional ingredients of rice extract and grain-derived prebiotics keep skin supple and hydrated. The Revive Eye Serum is formulated with retinol and ginseng root extract. Designed to improve wrinkles around the eyes, this comes in a container with an air-free pump. The Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser is infused with green plum water, mung bean seed extract, and herbal ingredients to gently cleanse and exfoliate skin. The pH balance level is suitable for sensitive skin. And finally, the ginseng cleansing oil contains ginseng seed oil and soybean oil to remove makeup and SPF lotion. It works to replenish skin and prepare it for the second phase of a double cleanse. As a middle-aged man, I feel it's becoming more necessary for me to maintain a healthy, radiant, and youthful appearance. I wish to keep looking well for a long time to come, and only the best skincare will suffice. So as part of my obligation to the general public who is concerned about beautiful looking skin, I want to assist everyone by reviewing skincare products myself, so you can make the right choices as to what products and brands are best for you. I'll admit, I'm not a dermatologist, esthetician, or even an expert on skincare. I just simply made this video to highlight my results of the Beauty of Joseon line after 21 days of consistent application, night and day. So without further ado, let's get into my results. So here is my appearance the night before the challenge. Yes, as you can see, my uh, skin already looks uh, plump and dewy due to uh, several months worth of uh, skincare. And after seven days, here is my appearance. Yeah, you can notice my uh, skin improving. 
it uh, is looking much, much more robust and shiny. And uh, yeah, I feel a little bit more confident in myself, in my abilities. And after 14 days, yes, uh, the skin is really beginning to uh, look more like uh, glass. Although I uh, did begin to develop a little bit of acne on the forehead. And after 21 days, yes, a much more improved uh, outlook in uh, the way how I feel about myself. My skin looks uh, revitalized, refreshed, and I'm just ready to take on the world like a champion. First, I'd like to discuss my experience with the Green Plum Refreshing Toner. Since it's chemical based, and because of my need to shave every few days due to my gender, I did not apply this to my face every single day. I would only do so every other day when my facial hair was still growing. Nevertheless, this toner felt very crisp and refreshing, as the name of it suggests. Whenever I examined myself in front of a mirror, I thought to myself, wow, what a very glassy face. This toner made me look more radiant and shiny, and after the removal of dead skin cells, my cheeks felt very squeaky. While I've adopted a daily skincare routine several months ago, I've come I've come to appreciate how vegan skincare is far more effective at moisturizing a freshly shaved face than traditional aftershave. Throughout this challenge, I used the Merker Futur razor equipped with a feather blade to perform three pass shaves. But in regards to this particular toner, it was the perfect start to a ritualistic skincare routine. Plums were used throughout Korean history to rid the body of toxins. And for me, they did just that. I'll give the Green Plum Refreshing Toner a 10 out of 10. For my next step, I pampered my face with Beauty of Dressan's Calming Serum with Green Tea and Panthenol. As you can see, I've already used three quarters of the bottle, and this went on easy. After 21 days, my skin barrier is much more fortified, and my cheeks feel rubbery smooth. I've always had fine skin, however, Due to its high concentration of antioxidants, this serum brought even more youthfulness to my appearance. An ingredient as natural as green tea can only revive elasticity, and its light, mild scent uplifted my mood. Out of all the skin serums I've ever tried, this green tea in Panthenol was perhaps the cleanest. In my opinion, it reduces irritation more effectively than traditional men's aftershave. And after 21 days of consistent application, both day and night, this turned out to be a big winner. Yep, I give this product a 10 out of 10. Of course, to get the best use of all the skincare, one needs to wash their face at the start of each routine. For every single ritual during these 21 days, both day and night, I washed my face with the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. This really worked well to clear debris in previous applications to prepare my skin for the next round of serum, moisturizer, eye cream, and SPF. The scent of plum is rather calming, and out of all the facial cleansers I've ever tried, this one from Beauty of Joe Sun was probably the very best. I mean, what's not to like about this brand? The Koreans really know how to make clean, all-natural beauty products. Too little acidity of the face leaves it too sensitive, and this cleanser brings it up to a suitable level. I enjoyed this step of the process very much, and after 21 days, I still have over half of a container left. You don't need much, just a small amount on your shower mitt. I'll definitely buy this again. I was able to generate a lot of foam during the exfoliation process, and it rinses off clean leaving my skin revitalized and refreshed. The Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser deserves a perfect 10 out of 10. During my nighttime routine for 21 days, I started out my regimen washing my face with Beauty of Joseon's Ginseng Cleansing Oil. This is specifically formulated to remove excess makeup and SPF from the face, and I can honestly say this does a great job. The glycine soya oil 
works wonders to exfoliate my skin. And since this was the first cleansing oil I've ever purchased, I understand now why it's essential for any skincare regimen. One can still use a gentle face wash to do a double cleanse, but a cleansing oil is what really eliminates all that makeup. This exfoliated my cheeks, chin, neck, and forehead very well. And often during this step, I could see all that makeup easily rinse off into my bathroom sink. This cleanser with 50% soybean oil and 0.1% ginseng seed oil is a must for any regimen. I used four to five drops in each application. And after 21 days, I still have three quarters of a bottle left. I'll definitely purchase it again when this one runs empty. Yep, I give this a 10 out of 10. Now, if I had to pick an absolute favorite in the line of Beauty of Joseon's products, it would be none other than the Dynasty Cream Facial Moisturizer. After 21 days, I can understand now why this is a cult favorite, packed with niacinamide, ginseng, squalene, and rice bran water. I saw on one particular video that rice is used to preserve the hair of a certain segment of Korean females derived from royalty. Women in their 90s still had their natural hair color preserved through the consistent use of shampoos filled with rice extract. I'd say if it works for hair, that it can also assist to preserve the face from aging. This is by far the most superior facial moisturizer I've ever used. With this cream, in addition to the serum, SPF, eye cream, and toner, my face shines like glass. Best of all, you only need a tiny spoonful for maximum dewy plumpness. My skin is much more hydrated because of this, and it's all thanks to Beauty of Joe's Son. I've actually almost depleted this container after 21 days and nights of use. In my books, the Dynasty Cream gets a 10 out of 10. For my eyes, Beauty of Joe's Son's Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol was the ultimate source of treatment. Infused with the vitamin A variants of retinol, this was able to revitalize my eye patches no other eye cream could. For quite a while, I've had issues with dark patches due to working rotating shifts in a factory. After over a decade, my eyes began to look tired and weary. This cream was able to reduce the puffiness underneath them, and now they look much better. Due to retinol, however, I felt as if these areas became more sensitive as this challenge progressed. It's also important to wear SPF on top of any retinol-based solution to protect the skin from sensitivity to light. This goes on clear, and a tiny squirt is all you need for daily and nightly use. After 21 days and nights, I still have plenty of cream remaining. However, I don't think this particular eye cream would be my favorite choice due to the presence of retinol. I'd pick something else specifically formulated for sensitive skin. But don't get me wrong, this leaves my under eyes looking ravishing. I'll give this product a 9 out of 10. To top it all off, at least for the daytime, a small dose of Beauty of Joseon's Relief Sun SPF with rice and probiotics was rubbed between my fingers, then all over my face. I will say, without fear of negative comments in the comments section, that this is the undisputed champion of SPF creams. Not only does this protect the layers of my face with a UV protection level of 50, this actually also provides ample hydration to it. By far the cleanest SPF I've ever used. With other sunscreens, it takes quite an effort to reduce the whiteness of the cream after a couple minutes worth of massaging. It's as if you're trying to wipe away paint from your skin. With this formula, however, it gets absorbed quickly into it. I'll never buy another SPF from any other brand again. This gets, yep, you've guessed it, a perfect 10 out of 10. 
Overall, I've never experienced such luxurious skincare at an affordable price than Beauty of Josun. This is one of the very best skincare brands I've ever tried. It certainly is much cleaner, enjoyable, and ritualistic than any other I've come across. And even before this 21 day challenge was over, I also purchased an additional container of Dynasty Cream, a bottle of the Glow Deep Serum, and the Ginseng Essence Water. Beauty of Jason is totally committed to cruelty-free practices, and all the products used in this challenge are vegan. I must also note that the kind of work I perform is very physical, and while I did have a minor acne breakout during this period, it was not as severe while I was doing the 14-day challenge with the vitamin A line from the American brand Derma E. Yep, I'll agree with the critics and repeat it. What's not to like about Beauty of Josun? So, there you have it. My 21-day challenge with Beauty of Josun's line of skincare. If you want to watch more of my skincare reviews, go check them out on my channel and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support you give. It really helps me to grow. So, I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you, and I'll be back with more skincare reviews soon. Godspeed.